Uh, in this video, we'll talk about the concept of futures in currencies. Uh, so let's assume that we have uh, time t and uh, capital T and uh, our our currency is in uh, dollars and uh, so this is domestic currency and uh, we have a foreign currency and uh, that's in euros and the exchange rate uh, is a dollar per euro so uh, now we want to buy so buy euros right so if we buy euros uh, we have to pay uh, x amount right now and uh, in the future we don't have to pay anything because we already bought them the other option is to not pay anything right now and then pay a future uh, price uh, which is uh, uh, mostly written like f t comma capital t so there are two scenarios so this uh, thing uh, is what we call future the amount you have to pay in future right so this is what we call future so how to evaluate the future so if you look uh, in this case so going from uh, like if you don't pay right now but you pay in the future so what you are actually doing is that uh, you are gaining interest in dollars so whatever amount you paid here you gain the interest in dollars but same time you lose the interest uh, in the euros so uh, so suppose um, if you have kept uh, uh, x here right so let me say say it here so this x will become uh, x plus interest in euros right and uh, in this scenario we'll get we didn't pay x so we'll get uh, f t comma t plus interest in dollars right so if we equate both of them together then it will be x plus interest in euros is equal to f t comma t plus interest in dollars so in that way future price will be equal to x plus uh, interest in euros minus interest in dollars so if we uh, solve this equation we can also write uh, x into e raised to power minus uh, interest in so it will be r dollar minus r euros is power t and that will be equal to your future price so that's normally the equation you see in the literature and uh, basically it is about gaining the uh, interest in particular currency and same time losing the interest in the another currency so that's how you calculate the future in currencies so now for example if you want to buy uh, something in euro so suppose if you have uh, a particular investment or a stock uh, which you want to buy in euros and suppose uh, it's for 1000 euros and uh, just to make the calculation easy i say that uh, uh, we have another currency dollar uh, which is uh, equal to uh, two euros right so in that case if you pay in dollars you have to pay uh, 500 dollars instead of uh, 1000 euros and now suppose the interest rate uh, in euros so r euros is equal to 20 percent and uh, r dollar uh, is equal to 10 percent right so now what will happen is that suppose uh, 
if you buy it right now 1000 you pay in euros then uh, no so it's in euros so you need to pay 500 dollars right now right so this 500 would have become 550 in one year this is zero this is one year and uh, if you would have uh, not paid uh, in uh, dollars but you would have paid in euros so this is euros it's dollars then that would have become uh, one two zero zero in the future so this is in dollars right so now if suppose the currency uh, is uh, same the exchange rate is same then in that case this 1200 would be equal to 600 dollars so you basically uh, have a difference of uh, 50 dollars so that is what uh, you can save um, if you buy particular um, future uh, or a particular combination of futures and other options so this is how the futures can be used to save uh, uh, interest in a particular manner and now the so same thing also applies when you are concerned about the exchange rate so if the exchange rate would have changed after one year then you could lock your price in a particular currency using the futures so i hope this total help and uh, i'll see you again thank you